Ladies and gentlemen, it's player profile time. At last. <laughs> We've I come was... to an oasis in the desert <laughs> of, uh, of, of banter. <laughs> um, I've gone for something slightly different today. Don't worry, he is a footballer, yeah. and you will have heard of him. Um, but I, I've been a little bit worried um, that, that when, when we established Barry Davis as our goalkeeper of the, of the Dean Windass 11, and I thought, that can't be right. It's not 11, is it? It's just a Hall of Fame, isn't well, it? Well, a Hall of Fame, Hall of yeah. Fame. But he, we'll start with 11, then we'll, we'll do 12 aside, up. and then yeah. Yeah. so on. Yeah, it'd be like yeah. 25 aside soon. It'd be yeah. like the, the old-time games play, where yeah. like, p- villages would play each other. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it'd be like mob football. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I've gone for a goalkeeper. How do you feel about that? I, th- I feel good about that. I think we need a mm. goalkeeper. Pete, how do you feel about it? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, and, not, I'm not sure. Are you not? <laughs> well... No, go, carry on. OK. Well, you're the one we're all trying to please. <laughs> there you go, uh, see. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, goalkeeper. You've got to look at South America for goalkeepers, haven't you? Obviously. And let me introduce to you Jose Luis Felix Chilavera. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, nice. it's fair enough. You redeemed yourself there. Thank I you. I was thinking to myself in my head, it's got to be Higuita or Chilavera. I was not having any part of it. And it was Chilavera. So, so well done Thank to you, you <laughs> and to me. <laughs> it's because he didn't have a goal record. Is that yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, I was thinking Campos. that. Now I'm, now I'm delighted. Well, I was yeah. going to say, you know, we can talk about the goals this man scored as well. Yeah, yeah. He scored a few. Yeah. Scored a few. So, yeah, former Paraguayan international. Um, he was three times um, voted best keeper in the world. Who by? By the IFFHS, which do all the kinds of. Uh, oh, right, okay. Th- they do a lot of the voting and a lot of the analysis and stats. And when was, when was he born? It was, he was born on July the 27th, 1965. Well, I just want to know how old he was, that's all. So, he, well, he's not that old now, then. No, 40, he's not that old. 43? Yeah. It's not, he can still, as a keeper, that's not that old. No. No, isn't it? You're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, he used to have that big medal he used to have in the back of his goal. Oh, yeah, he, he used did, to kiss yeah. all the time. That's right. Mm. It's like a little, uh, a lucky chance. It was one of those 1990 World Cup coins. Yeah. yeah. Of himself. Like, <laughs> 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 it, it, I'll tell you what it looked like. It looked like one of those chocolate coins you get at Christmas. One of the big ones. A lot bigger, yeah. 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 Do you remember, he, he always had the, um, the, his goalkeeper shirt always had the bulldog on the front. Oh, did it? Do you remember Didn't that? Didn't that, no. Always had a, a, a bulldog, whether it be international or for his club, it was kind of like, um, well, it must have been Are you allowed to do that? Well, obviously. Yeah. Well, he did. Yeah. He didn't follow convention. No, obviously not. Being the man of penalties and free kicks. You don't yeah. get many goalkeepers who do that. No. I remember you scored a great free kick in the World Cup. That was in 98. Yeah. That's the first keeper ever to attempt uh, oh, is it? Outs- uh, a free kick. I mean, they've probably taken one from outside the box, yeah. but only just, you know, yeah, yeah, into yeah. the opposition's half. But um, he, do you know what? He, he scored 62 goals in his professional career. <sighs> and he, But silly. he's not... The highest scoring goalkeeper of all time. Who is? Wow. He's second. Uh, recently, uh, Brazilian Rogério Ceni um, in 2006 has Pro- got the Pro- record. Has got the record. Yeah. Wow. But uh, we'll stay with Sheila Ver Ceni. You're not. Uh, You're part not of in this. the Hall of Fame. Okay, yet. So you just, haven't done enough just, yet. Just, yeah. just pipe down for the moment. Yeah. Um, he was obviously quite an eccentric goalkeeper. As, as goalkeepers, South American goalkeepers, are supposed yeah. to tend to be, yeah. and 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 even with his fiery temperature. Temperature? <laughs> well, he had, fiery, he had a fiery temperature, which added to the, the fiery temper that he had. Um, you know, I think you'll agree with me. Yeah, I and, think so, yeah. Uh, he was most notably sent off for brawling with uh, no other, none other than Festino Espria. Oh, no, nice. Nice. That's, that's a fight I'd pay to see. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fight I'd instigate. <laughs> yeah. Um, he made his uh, debut as a professional at 17 with Sportivo Luqueño, uh, who were a second division Paraguayan side at the time, but in 1989 he signed for Argentina's San Lorenzo, who were uh, in, in Division One uh, in Argentina. He played in Europe, he played in Spain, he went to Real Zaragoza, uh, and then he went back to Argentina with Vélez Sarsfield. Mm-hmm. And that was probably his best period, actually. He won the Argentinian Championship four times, as well as the Copa Libertadores, which is kind of their South American Champions League, really. Yeah. And the Inter- Intercontinental Cup. And I can remember that in '94, they beat... Ajax in the final. Too, oh, did they? Yeah. Mm. But that's Sarsfield. That's right, yeah. Okay. That's a great name, isn't it? But yeah. That's Sarsfield, yeah, it's quality. That's always one of those ones where, you know when you were at school and they used to go through the alphabet and do teams' names? You get to V and you struggle. What school did that. you go to? A normal one. You struggle, what, Villarreal, Valencia? Yeah, but you, you know, always bring out that one. Yeah, if there's a group of, like, eight of you or something doing it, it's oh, always right. a bit tricky. I've never played that game before. What's the no, game? Neither. What is the game? A, Arsenal, B, Black. What, everyone has to do one by... Yeah, the oh, That's quite... OK, I've never played that game we'll before. We'll do that one. We'll Generally. do that one. Yeah. The Fortnite. Perhaps, perhaps, <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Perhaps the Christmas the special. Show, yeah. yeah, just done set round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we go through players, everything. Um, that's probably that dream. If you're listening to school kids, don't fight. 
or do drugs or anything, do that. Do that. Yeah. Go, I, yeah. Think that's, I think that's a good message there. No, right. absolutely. Well, I'm all about good messages. And if you are still listening, kids, don't fast forward past the 20 minute swear a thon you've just had. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He was. The f- he became the first goalkeeper to score a hat trick in the history of the game, um, <laughs> while playing for Vélez Sarsfield. But they were all penalties. But still, they've got to be put away. But yeah. the thing is, he's still got. Uh, this is the thing. He's playing in Argentina, so he's got to go some to get penalty duty. Yeah. Because yeah, there's going to be all sorts of big big egos in that a team. A free kick to it as well. Did yeah. he? Did he, did he ever score an outfield goal? Do you know? Yeah, he must have done. I d- I'm not sure to be honest with you. He scored um, a free kick from just about the halfway line against River Plate once. Cool. That's, a, that's cracking. Yeah, that is cracking. Yeah, so he, he won, as I said, one goalkeeper of the year, world goalkeeper of the year, 95, 97 and 98. And in 98, of course, he, he was in the World Cup with uh, Paraguay and they got to the second round, only beaten on the golden goal by France. Yeah. You know, they had a good side then. And he, would, as I say, became the first keeper to take a direct free kick and nearly scored. I think the keeper tipped it over the bar. It was a good effort. I remember it being a good effort, definitely. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, what was great is he, Chilever pronounced himself, I think, before, during, and after the tournament, that he was the go- the, the World Cup's best keeper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so not short of confidence. No. <laughs> he um, he had seventy four international caps for Paraguay and scored eight goals. You know, <laughs> not bad, is it? No, not bad. <laughs> for a go- keeper, <laughs> <laughs> didn't he go mental? Um, is well, that better than Emil Heskey's record? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon well, it's from Paraguay, Paraguay, yeah, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he announced his retirement from football in, in December 2003, but came out of retirement um, to return to Velisarsfield for a season. And uh, he, even in his farewell match, which was a testimonial, he scored. Nice. You know, Cracking. Absolutely. But yeah, you're right, he, he did go a little bit mad, I think. Um, <laughs> In 2005, he was sentenced to six months in prison in France um, for use of false documents about uh, compensation for the end of his contract. I forgot to mention earlier, he was with Strasbourg. Oh, yeah. So, um, I don't know, he was trying to little fiddle there. And, uh, <laughs> nice. Keeping up the, uh, yeah. keep up the stereotype. <laughs> it's nice to see, isn't it? This Which... is something that's quite funny. He was a commentator for American television network Univision during the, the 2006 uh, World Cup, and he um, is expected to commentate on future tournaments for them. So he must have a good grasp of English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's quality. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, I mean, you sort of mentioned his honours before, but um, individual honours, uh, along with best keeper, um, Argentine, Argentine League Player of the Year, South American Football of the Year, 96. Well, what, as a, a keeper? Absolutely. Wow. That's, that's a brilliant. bit tasty, yeah, that's isn't That's awesome. It? If you so, score that many goals, though, I mean, it yeah, does put you in the shout. It's quality. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and I love this. He's, he's, um, he said he'd like to be involved in the international scene soon for Paraguay, but he's... He's also a little bit more involved in, in the country's dealings. When um, the, the Paraguayan president, uh, F- Fernando Lugo, uh, was, got in charge, <laughs> Chilever uh, got in touch with him and said that if you need any foreign investors getting involved in Paraguay and stuff, you know, give us a shout, I'll uh, be able to sort you out. <laughs> <laughs> That's big time, isn't it? That is big time. Well, this is what he said, this is the quote, he said, this country needed a change and the change finally came true with the election. The most important thing is that I am at the government's disposal in order for them to make decision and attract, in- to attract investors to Paraguay. It sounds like he God, thinks he's is. a superhero. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the problem is just, sort of went, well, yeah, you, you sort of, I appreciate that, but you are just sort of a goalkeeper, aren't you? Yeah. You know, what experience has he got? Well, he went to France one and got fucking put in jail. Yeah, <laughs> that's not exactly a great time, foreign affairs record, is it? Maybe broke out, you know? Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Um, I shall end with this quote. I've seen... This is Chilever, obviously. I've seen and done all kinds of things in football, but the one thing that makes me most proud is changing the image of goalkeepers forever. Up to then, we were morons, hanging around in our own goal mouth and taking <laughs> a barrage flack whenever we made a mistake. But we changed that. We showed what we can do, and we can sh- do a great deal more, and can, in fact, win games. I heard that's Scott Carson's motto. <laughs> 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 he, he, he rates himself, doesn't he? Yeah. The, the biggest thing I've done is probably, well... Change the face probably of Probably change the face of the game forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who said that? Redefined my own position. Yeah. And for doing that, he deserves a round of applause and an induction into the team. And that's all the First keeper in. There he is. Brilliant. We've got him. Where's yeah. Barry Davis now? Yeah. Uh, he's on the sidelines commentating. He's right? manager. <laughs> manager. He's gaffer. Yeah, I like to think I was Good manager. Chat. And you've missed that free kick. <laughs> oh yeah! You can imagine saying, "And you've missed that free kick again, Jose, because you will not learn." <laughs> well, that's.